after these two very moving and powerful statements, I don't have much to add. All I'll say is, uh, I'd like to compliment you, Zunaira, uh, the Kashmir cell and uh, the South Asia Division for putting up this exhibition, exhibiting uh, the reality as we see it on the ground, as the artist sees things uh, as they are uh, on the ground. All I can say is, in today's world, you cannot hide reality. You can disinform, you can uh, uh, seal your borders, you can um, not allow uh, independent observers uh, to move in, to observe and report for themselves, but truth will surface. You cannot block uh, information in today's world. The power of media and the power of social media has um, uh, set new standards. As Andalip just mentioned, that, that one young, self-respecting, brave girl who stood up to hooliganism the other day has moved millions all over the world. The narrative that Pakistan was building that India over the years is changing. The India that you were aware of, the, the secular, the India of uh, Gandhi and Nehru is being overtaken by a new mindset by a new approach to the region, the Akhand Bharat approach and the Hindutva uh, mindset. And that is dangerous. It is not just dangerous for Kashmiris who have suffered and continue to suffer on account of uh, human rights violations and the atrocities that we are seeing on a daily basis. But it is transcending different states and this conversion from a, from a secular state to a majoritarian state is a huge, huge shift. It will have implications. It already has implications. You've seen people react. You've seen uh, the enlightened uh, minds in India react to what they saw in Karnataka. You've seen um, um, many in the Indian opposition criticize and, and are feeling uncomfortable on how the image of this largest democracy in the world is being soiled by a new mindset, the new leadership that is governing India. I am confident that this shift that I have seen from militancy to a people's movement is a very powerful shift and the right and the correct shift. You have to win the hearts and minds of people to bring about a change. And I can share this with confidence that the policy India is pursuing today, they're fast losing the hearts and minds of Kashmiris. The alienation one sees today, one has never seen before. They are gradually, slowly but surely, distancing themselves from Delhi. They are not looking up to Delhi anymore for solutions and they are quietly under the surface talking on how to resist this 
onslaught, this inhuman onslaught through a people's resistance movement. This exhibition depicts uh, how humanity is suffering. One understands for different reasons. At times, uh, people who do understand what the reality is choose to keep quiet. Political expediency dictates. Commercial interests uh, force you to remain silent. But truth will surface. And this struggle, this struggle for self-determination will, in my view, succeed. When people start depicting reality through art, music, lyrics, that makes a huge difference. And that process has already begun. So thank you. Um, the South Asia Division for making this possible. We were, we are, and we will remain steadfast with the Kashmiri people in their just struggle for self-determination. Thank you.